Welcome everyone to my new let's play. It's Sparrow 2 Gateway to Glimmer. And for today, this is being uploaded the 5th of November is this game's release date. It came out on the 5th of November 1999. So I thought today would be the perfect time to start it. So here we go, let's start a new game and let's see the first cutscene and then we'll get straight into it. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. Poo, poo. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! Kill it! Kill it! Go! You imbecile! You ain't my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who is that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute. Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Okay, so here we go, starting up the game. So here we are, Sparrow 2, and. Oh, okay. Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Okay, now I think I'm gonna have to uh, turn my volume up here a bit. Because I can't really hear it well. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but anyway, wait, does he say anything else? I don't know. If you can find my friend Twitchy, he'll reward you for helping us out. Ah, uh, why did I mute my mic? Um, so, yeah, we are Sparrow 2. I mean, Sparrow 1 is just a great game and it's 
a great start to the you know series of Sparrow. But I mean Sparrow 2, I mean you can see all the changes they've made. You know, the gems look different, um Sparrow's model looks a bit different and I think he looks bigger actually. And um yeah, it, it's a lot different, a lot has changed with the game and they, they've just made it so much better than Sparrow 1, but I mean Sparrow 1 is great, but this just takes it to a new level I think, and uh, with this game you can learn new abilities with Sparrow, and yeah, I just, Sparrow 2 is a great improvement, and I mean Sparrow 1 didn't really need to be improved, but actually it kind of did, because Sparrow felt a bit stiff sometimes, and this model feels a bit more easier to control, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's um, just get all the enemies. And in this game, it's different because when you kill enemies, you don't get gems, you get spirit particles which open up um, magic gates, um, ability gates. So, Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress like this. That's that means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Okay. So, yeah. Zoe is the new checkpoint in this game in Sparrow 1. You just had to stand on the dragon um, pad to get the checkpoint. So, yeah, they... I mean, just using, you know, a fairy, Zoe, um, it's a lot more easier, I think. Um, so, now we have Malibag. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. Okay, well, we all know how money bags is in Sparrow games. But actually, let's say no. You'll have to pay up sooner or later. It's the only way across. I have to look after my uh, Avalar's financial well-being. You know. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't know he said that. Back um, again, but... Eh? We... Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear him. Oh, actually, wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have skipped because I haven't. I don't think I've read that um, or heard that dialogue before of him saying that. So that's interesting. Still here? Why don't you help the gem cutters and they'll show you the way to Summer Forest? Okay, so he actually says more. I, I mean, a lot of people wouldn't talk to him, you know, over and over again. But it's kind of cool to do that. So, you, so you know, you hear um, everything that they have to say and. It might be dialogue that I've never heard before, so maybe I'll try to do that with um, all of the, you know, NPCs, uh, characters to talk to, because it would be um, very interesting to see, you know, if they say anything that you may or, or I may not have heard before. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Okay, so we have to learn climb here. Um, so we won't be able to complete this level 100% yet. Um, well, actually, we could, but I'm not going to um, cheat. But I'll talk about that in a bit. You'll learn to climb later on. Come back and see me then. You'll learn to climb later. Right. So that's all he says. Um. So there is a way, in this game there is a glitch, or like, well, not really, but it's kind of, it's kind of a glitch, but you can do double jump by pressing X and uh, square immediately after it, but you, I guess you hold down um, X and you press jump, uh, press square, like that, uh, I can't really get up, but, um, well, uh, I just show it, so, um, yeah, you can use double jump. To get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. 
Try using triangle to look around this cave. Okay. You can use triangle to walk around like you could before. But, um, so yeah, but the, the developers in Somniac Games didn't. You know, it's, it's a thing that was just left out, you know, left in the game. I have a double jump, and you can do that, and, ah, oh, well, I got the gem, but I don't want to get those gems because I want to do this properly, so, yeah, but it doesn't matter. So, here's the end of the level, and you can actually, yep, yeah, oh. thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Okay, got a talisman, but um, I was going to say you can actually flame the flanks. Um, I, I the magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Okay, uh, but I did this a lot when I was a kid because I thought it was fun just to flame the flanks. But it was kind of, it's kind of a bit bad. But oh wow. Um, so what? Um. Yeah, uh, just got a talisman. Those are the, those are one of the um, collectibles in this game. You get a talisman for finishing all of the levels in World, in Summer Forest, and Autumn Plains, but not in Winter Tundra, which is the third world. So these little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Okay, so this is the first time we get to do something new by grabbing a rock and then spitting it at the enemies. So we've got to get six feathers here. Well, nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Okay, you've got to follow this guy. Uh, gotta get this. That's kind of hard to get, but well, well, you could use the double jump to get it more easy up there, but it's okay. So. Right, so we've got to follow this guy, and then we've got to do this challenge as well. So, yeah, let's do all this, and actually let me get this uh, basket over here. Um, so... You can spit pretty far, Spyro! See if you can spit all the way to that lizard! Okay, well, they haven't told me to use, um, you know, um, first person yet, but you can by holding down triangle and um, but they are about to tell us that right now. To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press and hold the triangle button to aim, then press circle to spit. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, wait, does he say the same thing again or? You can pick up a rock in your yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so this one you really have to do, but you could kind of cheat, but eh, let's just do it normally for now. Okay, so we're halfway there, three out of six. Um, and he, he jumps up to that lamp, and I always think that I have to jump up and, you know, get it. Uh, but we'll, we will do the lamp challenging here later on. Um, wait, he had a, he, he said, oh, okay, there we go. Press and hold the triangle button while you have a rock in your mouth. Press the circle button to spit the rock in the direction you are aiming. Okay, so he just, yeah, he just keeps saying that, but I want to know. You can pick up a rock in yeah, okay. Wait, he said that before. But, um, actually, I, I wasn't intending on doing this, but might as well, because, you know, it's good to see, you know, Content that you haven't seen before or heard with the dialogue. Um, and I'm sorry I skipped the money bag some bit, but I accidentally did it, so yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I missed those, so. But we, we don't really have to, you know, finish this all right now anyway. Um, oh, that, that was weird. But okay, so he just says the same thing. Um, so this time this lizard is going left and right, so we gotta get him quick before you miss. Okay, five out of six, let's go up here and uh, what? How what happened there? Why did I just fall when I was gliding? 
That was some um, really strange. You can pick up a okay, you, yeah, I just keep saying the same thing at this point. Um, oh, I'm too near, so I've got to get a bit back and then... Yes, okay, it kind of homes in a bit. You saved my crop of gems from the lizards! Here, take this orb! Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday! Okay, orbs. Uh, this is one of the other things that you get in this game. Gotta collect orbs. Um, and talismans. To open up my worlds. Actually, what, what was he gonna... What was he going to say now? Because he said something, he's gonna say something else. Um, okay. You can have as many rocks as you like. You can have as many Okay, rocks there we go. So, um, yeah. It's, um, interesting to us. Uh, so, yeah, you can see up there is a flying power up. Um, but we can't climb up there yet, so. Um, we'll have to come back here later when we've got that, and we'll do backtracking, so... Uh, yeah, wait, what else does he say then? Step through the portal next to me to go to Summer Forest! Wait, I think I already did that though. Okay. Um... So... Yeah, I'm gonna get more enemies here. Get this guy. Well, actually, at this point we don't need any... We, we don't need to kill any more enemies because, um, we have the... Power up unlocked, and that's the point of the um, the enemies is to unlock these things. Power ups. They don't give gems anymore. Okay, so we gotta get all the things and. The big gem lamp will only light if all six small lamps are lit. Okay. Uh, wait, the what difficulty did it say? Just one star? Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. This is uh, pretty easy. Wait, what? I still have a rock. Okay, uh, I've never done that before. Uh, I didn't even know you could spit, you know, while you was flying. I don't think I've ever done that in the in the history of me playing this. So, wow, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, I've, I've never done that. Me like the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Okay. Uh, so yeah, these guys are the gem cutters, so that's why he says that. But the orbs kind of look quite gems, so it looks kind of weird. Um, so we've done that. Uh, is there any gems we're missing? Uh, and actually this tunnel here, you know, you don't have to go through here because there's no reason to, but um, I guess they want you to fly for it to get the Celeste lamp here, but I mean you could just go around it, so, but it's cool that it's there. So, oh, we gotta go up here, get the rest of this get all the gems we can, but I mean, we can't complete this anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we miss some up here right now, but I would rather, you know, get all these ones out of the way. So, I think that's it for now. So I'm going to go in the exit hole and um, we will go to Summer Forest and then we'll start that in the next part. So, um, yeah, let's end the level. chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. 
Spyro's going to help us collect the talisman. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? If you come across any orbs, they're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Okay, well, um, so uh, now we're going to Summer Forest. The homeworld, it's kind of weird, this game, because, you know, you start in a level rather than starting in a homeworld, like Sparrow 1 and 3. Um, and actually, Sparrow 3 is more like Sparrow 1 than this game, because in Sparrow 3, you know, the enemies give you gems again, but in this game, uh, they don't give gems, they just give spirit particles, so... Um, yeah, so I'm Sparrow557, I hope you've enjoyed this first part of Sparrow 2, a gateway to come at, also known as Ripto, uh, Ripto's Rage in America, so, um, and also known as Sparrow Xbox Tondemo Tours, I think, in Japanese, uh, in Japan, so, um, yeah, so, uh, I'm Sparrow 557. Hope you enjoy this part. And hopefully, this let's play is going to be fun. And I will see you in the next part when we go through some of our So, um, actually, wait a minute, because I've just realized we can't do it all in one part, so I'm going to have to uh, split it, you know, in uh, parts. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do uh, with the backtracking stuff and all that. So, yeah, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.